uh, start off with, uh, let's give a big shout out to uh, to you guys for helping me out. I really appreciate it. Uh, those of you who left me comments uh, in the previous video and also sent me some personal emails, uh, especially Brian and Paul, thank you all so much for uh, helping me get uh, my guiding uh, figured out there, gave me some great suggestions and that's what I went after. So uh, again, thank you guys so much. Um, with long focal length, obviously you're going to have issues. And if you can see here uh, from the rows that I shot uh, last week, the stars were definitely misshapen. They were oblong. I mean, you can you can tell that obviously there were some sort of guiding issues that were going on and it looked like it was going on in deck. So uh, that's what I was trying to work out this second go around because uh, obviously it looked like absolute crap. So I did not go back to the Rose uh, this Friday night. I actually went to the Hercules cluster uh, just due to time constraints uh, and weather that was rolling in on top of me. But I'm a lot happier with this. You can tell the guiding was a lot better. Uh, it was a, a lot more crisp compared over here to the Rose. My stars looked a whole lot better. They were more round. Um, it just overall was a lot better picture, a lot more detail that was in there. Uh, it's, there's still a little bit of Corona effect here on the side. And when I looked at these individually in Blink on PixInsight, you could obviously tell that uh, there was you, there was a few frames in there that were oblonged where they, they got stretched during guiding. So definitely it's a guiding issue. Long focal length, you have to have good guiding. Now, I also did uh, the Pinwheel Galaxy, and this is the one from the last video. Again, kind of looks like it's out of focus. Uh, there's not a lot of detail here in the core or through the, the, the fingers. But then here's the one from Friday night, and again, it's all about guiding. So when you blow it up, you can obviously tell a lot more detail here in the core, in the uh, center of the galaxy, as well as the uh, filaments that are coming out of the arms. Just a lot more detail. Uh, obviously, good guiding, good focus is going to be your friend, and uh, it did, yeah, it does wonders. So, yeah, it was all about guiding. The optics were really good, uh, as far as I'm concerned, from what I looked at. Uh, and I was dead on when it comes to uh, doing the collimation uh, this go around and uh, yeah has everything to do with guiding so if you're doing long focal length if you want a good picture make sure your guiding is dead on and I'm going to keep uh, I'm going to throw that one away I'm not going to publish it I'm not going to publish that one either but I will certainly put uh, this one uh, along with my Hercules I'll, I'll throw it on my Instagram I'll throw it on my Facebook I'm proud of these. It's not my best work, but uh, you know what? Not bad for, for jumping into a uh, long focal length. So if you want a fast astrograph that's not going to break the bank, consider the Orion F3.9 10-inch astrograph.